What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so we're still doing those side quests. Sorry guys, it has to be done. So in this episode right here, we're going to be going uh, somewhere far, far away. And now that we got access to the Rust Turf Tunnel, the whole thing, we can actually do it. So... We switched up bikes. Now, in our last episode, we managed to go through, uh, you know, the trick house twice, uh, the cycling road and all that stuff. And uh, before we do anything, I think it's best to actually buy quite a few... Rep oh, actually, you know what? We do have repels. Never mind. So, uh, yeah, we... We wait, 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 you might call it. We switched out... Uh, what was it called? Uh... We switched out our bikes because we are now enabled to use, or to go through the, uh, what was it called, um, Rust Turf Tunnel. And this right here will lead us back all the way to Rust Turf City, Rust Burrow City, I should say. And there is something that we kind of, kind of have to do. If anything, we don't really have to do it. Yeah, like, we really don't have to do it. We can, we can just wait for it. Uh, but I choose to do it right now, mainly because, well, shoot, yeah, kind of want to get this, and, well, look at this, we found ourselves a Talo, and, well, I'm going to do the easiest thing right here, I'm going to capture it, and, uh, well, no, I'm not going to be using it in battle or anything like that, I could have used it a long time ago, but no, and this guy right here doesn't want to be captured, okay, I see how it is. I'm still gonna try and capture you, okay? So here we go, Ultra Ball, go. Please stay in the ball. Stay in the god dang ball. Come on, stay in there. You gotta stay. You have to stay, and uh, there you go. Okay. So there it is, guys. We got ourselves a Talo. And, uh, well, that right there expands our collection just a little bit more. Look at that. We got a tiny swallow bird. Taylor. Taylor is young. It only has just or it only just left its nest. As a result, it sometimes becomes lonesome and cries at night. This Pokemon feeds on Wurmple in the that live in the forest, which it's kinda of morbid. Didn't know that Pokemon can can eat off each other or something like that. So let's go right ahead and continue our little adventure. So now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going all the way back to uh, to Captain Briny, or not Captain Briny, Mr. Briny, for short. And uh, we're going to be doing a little something something that will help us out. That and you know we'll be able to discover some new Pokemon here and there. So here we are in uh, the Petalburg Forest, and there is a Pokemon that we haven't gotten yet. And I think we should. And come on. There it is. Bam! I wonder what Pokemon it can be. Who is it? And it's a Shroomish. Holy buckets. Okay, so as many of you guys already know, Shroomish is one of my favorite grass type Pokemon of all time just because. It evolves into a grass and fighting type Pokemon, and it, you know, you really can't beat that because. Grass types, normal grass grass types, like regular old grass types, they they're they're cool and all, but they're usually paired up with poison type Pokemon and all that. So as you guys can see, we caught ourselves a Shroomish, and talks to Batman, grows to level 24, and is trying to learn Swift. So let's go ahead and teach that. Take away Astonish, and bam, ta-da! Look at that. Okay, talks to Batman has learned has learned Swift, and here we have Shroomish. The very awesome Pokemon, the Mushroom Pokemon right here. So, if a Shroomish senses, senses danger, it shakes its body and scatters spores from the top of its head. This Pokemon spores are so toxic, they make a, they make trees and uh, weeds wilt. That sucks. And, well, we're going to be quick the name Shroomly to this Pokemon, because that is uh, the most awesome uh, nickname you could ever give a Pokemon right here. So, here we go. Actually, let's go ahead and separate that. Uppercase it. And there we go. Shroomly. Named after Bruce Lee. That's right. Okay, so that is another Pokemon captured and sol and put back into the PC. Obviously, I am going to train these Pokemon up. And uh, it looks like to me we still have one more Pokemon missing in the Petalbrook Woods. 
you know, off screen, yes, I will be capturing the majority of these Pokemon, and uh, yeah, we're gonna have some fun with that. So before we do anything, guys, I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center, or actually to the Pokemart, real quick, because I gotta, I gotta grab some stuff. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are back in uh, Mr. Briny's cottage, and what we need to do now is we actually have to stop this guy from chasing his Piku. So as you guys can see, ahoy, we lift anchor anytime for you. So tell me, my friend, where are we bound? We are going to be going to Duford because, well, there's one more thing that we need to do over there. Well, not really one more thing, but you guys get the drift. And just like the last time, yes, we're going to be uh, riding this boat. Well, good old uh, Wingle is Pico or Piku, whatever his name is. Pico is uh, flying around, you know, there you go. Okay, so uh, say hello, guys. Ahoy, we've hit the land of Duford. You just go on and tell me whenever you want to set sail again, lad. Okay, so what we need to do right here in Duford is we have to go back into, I believe, the Granite Cave. Because uh, now we have ourselves a, a mock bike. This will help us out going into this particular area because, well, you know, there's going to be... Uh, there's some extra rooms, there's some extra stuff that we, we actually need to uncover, and there is something, you know, very special around this area, too. And, uh, well, we're gonna get attacked by an Abra. As much as I would like to capture it, which I already did, I think, yeah. Captured an Abra. Let's go right ahead and run away, because we don't need any of that. And, okay, so we wanted to run away. <laughs> Okay, so let's go right here, and just like that, we are we are good to go. So enough of the mock bike because that will waste our that will waste what was it called our repels, and we're gonna be flashing this whole place up because uh, this is an extra room in which we will be able to find some extra stuff right here, and there is one particular Pokemon that I I do want to capture. And look at that, we found ourselves an escape rope, which uh, can be useful later on, since we have like six of them, I think. And before we go up the hill right there, I'm going to grab this, and we found ourselves a Pokeball. And what else do we need to grab? Let's see, right here? Nothing, okay. Uh, you know what? Hmm. Oh, yeah, there it is, okay. And, of course, we're going to get attacked by a Pokemon. Right now, I'm... Yes, I am keeping everything off, like the repels off, because I do want to capture somebody in here. And it looks like to me we found ourselves a Pokemon that we really, really want on our team. So let's go right ahead and throw an Ultra Ball at this guy. Auron is a very, very rare Pokemon. Very strong Pokemon once you fully evolve it. And, uh, yes! There it is, throwing out the peace sign, guys. So, there it is, guys. We caught ourselves Auron Thunderball. Grows to level 28. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and take a look at its uh, stats right here. Or, not its stats, but its name and everything. So, here we have Auron, the Iron po the iron Armor Pokemon, both Steel and Rock type. Auron has a, a body of steel. With one all-out charge, this Pokemon can demolish even a heavy dump truck. The destroyed dump truck then becomes a handy meal for the Pokemon, which is pretty cool. <laughs> It's a pretty cool thing. So, we're going to be nicknaming this Pokemon. Actually, let's go ahead and uppercase that thing. We bequeath to you the name Claymore because, yeah, you are as powerful as a Claymore. Look at that. Yes. Okay. So, there it is. Now, you're going to be going into the PC, and I will see you later. And, well, there is still one more Pokemon I want to capture right here. And... I think it's right here. There it is. Okay. We found ourselves a paralysis heal. And, well, now it's time to go uphill. So let's go right here. And just like that, we found another area in which we have to go up and downhill. And before we go anywhere else, there's this part right here. You will be finding yourself a repel, which, um, you know, it's very useful for you. So let's go back upstairs, and now the main one, we have to go uphill right here, and downhill, and, well, let's see, I want to use a 
revive or not the revive. What am I talking about? I want to use the the item finder. Now, if you go down still downstairs right here, this is a secret room, not so secret. And well, let's see. Where are you? You're going to be finding a, a Pokémon trainer right here. So, before we battle this guy, let's go ahead and switch it out to Ole because he might have some like ground type Pokémon right here. And talk to him and he's going to be like this mural apparently depicts events in the ancient Hoenn. You think? So here we go, taking on Ruin Maniac Omari. And he is coming out with a Santru. Look at this Santru right here. Okay, and we're going to be going with Ole. All right, Ole. Time to do it. Let's get it. Ma maximum effort. Let's go with a Bubble Beam attack right here. And just like that, Santru has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. And Gaia grows to level 23 and is learning Draining Kiss. So this move right here, being strong, it actually... Huh. Yeah, we're, we're just going to forget that. And uh, being that strong, it actually takes a little bit of HP and gets it back to the, the Pokemon that uses it. So that's pretty cool right there. So, let's see... There is a Pokemon right here that you can actually find. Actually, two. We just have to find them. Very rare Pokemon, too. And I'm going to try and break every stone. Because uh, your boy wants to capture them all. And there we go. We have found somebody. Please don't let it be a Geodude. And it's a god dang Geodude. Now, story time. Back then... Like about a few years ago, guys, or when this whole thing started, my buddy or my brother actually found himself a, a shiny, what was it called? A shiny nose pass around here. I don't remember whatever happened to it. I think it's in my Nintendo Switch now. I think it is. Because I seem to have done a massive, like, exodus from, you know, from the Nintendo 3DS right here all the way to the Switch. And I kind of wanted to switch everything, or I kind of wanted to do, to redo things with different Pokemon and with the same old thing, kind of update everything, and well, let's see, what if we go right here, again, I'm trying to look for a specific Pokemon right here, and there's nothing, and remember, not only can you find, you can't, or not only can you find Pokemon under these boulders, but you can also find items as well, and so far, we haven't found a specific Pokemon that we've been wanting to we would want to look for, so there we go. And here we found ourselves a star piece. Something that we can actually sell for a very, very good price. And here we go. Rock Smash. And here we have a Max Ether. So, well, it doesn't look like we're losing very much. And there is an item right here. There's two. There's actually three items right here. So, down the middle, you'll be able to find yourself a Neverstone. And to the left side, you'll be finding yourself a Shadow Clock Technique. And to the left or to the right side, you will be finding yourself, bam, a Steelix Sight. Which can work for Steelix. And, uh, well, let's see. What else can we find? There's something right here. So we talked to this guy. Yes, he is going to try and battle us. Okay, so many things. So here we are taking on Davian. Davian? And this guy is coming out with his Geodude, and I'm going to be coming out with Olay. So let's go right ahead. Go with the Razor Leaf attack right here. And just like that, Razor Leaf nearly defeats Geodude. Well, this guy is just like, he's really messing with us. So here, here is Geodude raising up its speed. And, well, let's go with a Bubble Beam. So here we go. Bubble Beam for the win. And just like that, we get another victory right there. Okay, more experience points, and we have defeated Davian. So, let's see. I really, really want to find these two these two particular Pokemon that I'm talking about. As you guys can see on my decks now, there is a Pokemon right there, a little shadow. And there is an item right here that we need to find, so... So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm actually going to fast forward until we find these two Pokemon. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, so we finally found one of them, and that is Nosepaz. So I read up on Bulbapedia that, yes, a Nosepaz 
it has a 14% chance of being found. Yeah. <laughs> they weren't kidding about this Pokemon. And then uh, the other Pokemon that's around here it has a 5% chance. And that is if you're playing Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, that 5% Pokemon will be Sableye. The other one will be Mawile in Pokemon... What was it? Omega Ruby, which... Yeah, we're... We're gonna have to, uh, <laughs> we're gonna have to trade up because, good God, it's it's really, really difficult to find these guys right here. So, here it is, we have found ourselves a nose pass. The second one that we've ever found, as you guys can see right here, nose pass has been said to be completely unmoving, with its magnetic nose pointed due north. However, close observation has revealed that the Pokemon actually moves by a little over a three-eighths of an inch every year. Huh! <laughs> well... Doesn't do that for Pokemon or for Pokemon battles right there. So, the next Pokemon we're going to be locating is Sableye. So, you guys got to be patient with me because it does have a 5% chance of, you know, being found right here. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, so we found him. Sableye. Whew. Okay, so Sableye right here in Pokemon Alpha Sapphire has a 5% chance of being located and yes it is one of the few Pokemon here in Hoenn that you can actually get through or actually get to Mega Evolve and all that stuff so yeah we're gonna we're gonna try and uh, capture this Pokemon right here capturing it afterwards it will make it easier for you to find especially because you got the Dex Nav and all that crud and there's one and yes this Pokemon will not go down quietly now, the funny thing is that this Pokemon is both a dark and ghost type Pokemon. Not the best one, but still it is a Pokemon that you can actually use. Now, the funny thing is that I'm thinking of using it mainly because, well, it brings back old memories. Old memories of when, you know, back in the day, I thought that, you know, this Pokemon right here would actually help me out. And, well, let's go right ahead and see what we can do to actually just, like, capture this guy right here. So, we're going to be going with a trace, and this guy has a keen eye, and here comes its foresight attack. So, let's see. Let's go right ahead and not do anything else. Let's go ahead and capture it with an Ultra Ball, since we do have them. And, like I said before, guys, we are going to be switching up Pokemon every so often. They're, like, these guys are not permanent members of the team. Later down the road, we might switch it up. And this guy has an astonished move right here. So, here we go. Ultra Ball yet again. Come on. Get in that Pokeball. Come on. Stay in there. Stay in the ball. Stay in there. And there you go. Throwing out the peace sign, guys. We caught ourselves a Sableye. And... Olay grows to level 29. And, well, as you guys can see right here, Sableye, both dark and ghost type. This is a very, very, very difficult Pokemon uh, to raise up. And it's one of two dark and ghost type Pokemon, correct me if I'm wrong, that, you know, exist right here. So Sableye digs digs the ground with its sharpened claws to find rocks that can eat or that it can eat substances in substances in the eaten rocks crystallize and rise up to the pokemon's body surface that explains a lot so we're going to be nicknaming this pokemon right here hmm what's a pretty good nickname for this pokemon it's both a dark and ghost type pokemon it should be something that you know Pretty much emphasizes everything. I mean, I I could I could put Dark Side on it, but I think I've already nicknamed somebody Dark Side. Huh. I think I already did nick nick nickname so nickname somebody Dark Side, and that was that Tyranitar. Hmm. But I didn't really use it on my team. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna nickname we're gonna nickname this Pokemon Dark Side since well we are going to be using it on our team for just a little bit. So here we are, guys. We're going to nickname it Dark Side like this, like in the comic book, Dark Side. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on. So what I tried to do was I tried capturing another Sableye uh, off screen 
right here uh, through the uh, dex nab which many of you guys already know it's very very difficult to do especially right here in the granite cave because well you got two spots that you have to look for it and if you run a little too fast then yes you're gonna ruin your chances but luckily for me you know I moved quickly to go capture a dex nav uh, a dex nav induced uh, sable eye and it turned out to be like I, I ran into a sable eye itself Hopefully the uh, the Dexnap guy didn't wasn't like you know. Hopefully the Dexnap Pokemon wasn't a rare one. So here we are, getting some more Pokemon. Now the reason why I captured another uh, Sableye was so I could send it over to Omega Ruby, and then from there you know, send one over to uh, what was it called, um, or send a Mawile back to to us right here. And uh, well, let's see. Hmm. There's really nothing I can do right here except that we've already gotten every single item. And, uh, yeah, it looks like we've gotten every single item in this whole area right here. There really isn't much more that I could do except for just, let's, hey, let's move on and, uh, let's, let's head on to the next thing. And, uh, that is, let's get the heck out of here. And, it look it's, it says that we captured every single Pokemon in here, but later on, there will be more Pokemon to capture. So, that is pretty much it for this episode right here, guys. I know that it's taken a lot of minutes, and uh, what I need to do now is we're going to be taking a look at a... We're going to be taking a look at the Sableyes that we caught. Depending on who... which Sableye uh, we have, that will be on our team for the next few episodes. So, as you guys can see right here, we got ourselves the Probo Pass. This is the one that my brother caught a while back. Through my profile, I evolved it. I evolved a nose pass into a Probo Pass, and as you guys can see, it is shiny. And then here we have the shiny Azuril from you know the Omega Ruby. This is a 10-year-old Seeking that my brother caught. This is a uh, I don't know how old this one is, but it's a shiny Noctowl. And this is Sexy Fly, the one that we caught earlier this year. And well, here is the nose pass. So let's go ahead and take a look at the three Pokemon that we've caught. So. Actually, there's four Pokemon that we caught, and that is uh, this guy right here. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the four Pokemon we caught. This one is Aron, the Claymore. And as you guys can see, it has its basic moves, Hardened, Mud Slap, head, uh, Headbutt, and Metal Claw. And it does have Sturdy, which it cannot be knocked out by one hit. And because of its uh, because of its its status, or its, uh, its what was it called? Um, not its status, but its, its, its nature... Its defense is higher, while its special attack is not the best. So here we have Nose Pass, which has Magnet Pool, prevents Steel-type Pokemon from escaping. It is a tank of a defense, physically defensive Pokemon. Not that, not that big on speed, but as you guys can see, it has Tackle, Harden, Block, and Rock Throw. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the two Sableyes we caught. This is the first one we've caught. Its attack is through. Its attack is pretty well, as well as defense. It's not much of a special attacker or a special defenseman, but its speed, not that great. I let me see what it, what kind of nature it has. It has a docile nature, so that could be something. And then here we have the female dark side that we caught. What's the difference? So the female do, uh, the female dark side that we have right here has similar stats, except let's see. They're both level 12, except this one has more rounded out uh, stats, like its attack, everything is uh, everything's pretty much even except for its speed, so yeah, I have a decision to make. They both have the same moves and all that stuff. Anywho, this has been it, guys. In the next episode, we will be going to we will be going north of our no, north of Malville City and going on into our adventure right here. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient. As always, I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.